I just wanted to show you these ground covers. Started them last year and they will take over everything. They really filled out this, then a few sprinkled over onto the ground. They're growing like nuts. And then some ended up over here. You get those little cool flowers. They put in these new LED lights, street lights, and they're literally so bright. Hear how the birds are going? That's how it is at two and three in the morning. Just right here. When you go away from the light, you don't hear the birds. They must think like the sun's coming up. Literally like all night. Well, hey everybody, it's Paul. Welcome again to the car. I kind of like putting a little Osmo out here. Filming with the Osmo today. Not the GoPro. I've heard the Osmo's cheaper and it's easy to replace the screen if the lens, if it gets scratched. So. Yeah, I found out I've got some carpenter bees underneath the balcony where I always film. I kind of like taking this little camera around with me, it mounts up real nice, and you know, it's like multitasking, you're making good use of your time, kind of a change of scenery. So I found out that I've got some carpenter bees, they look just like bumblebees, that size, that color. But what they do is they burrow into wood and it looks like it's probably a, a half inch diameter that they make in wood. So you know where they are is on the bottom side of my balcony in the very joists that hold the old guy up when I'm filming on the balcony and that's a lot to hold up. So they put these uh, half inch holes in there and they go for inches apparently. Now I don't have a lot of them, but apparently they will, it's a generational thing. You know, they'll have babies and the babies come, so it kind of exponent, exponentials over time. And it can be a problem imagine if you get the thing looking like Swiss cheese so I'm gonna have to try to run them out I guess they like bare wood I should have painted it it's treated lumber I thought I didn't even know there were such kind of bees I never run into them before I guess I never had anything that was unpainted that I cared about before so I should have known better. I should have. I should have painted it. But it's you know you don't really see it's on the bottom of the balcony. So it just they have one more job to do, which I'm doing another job right as we speak. Always something, you know. There's always one more. Always one more. It seems like forget ever taking a break or relaxing so right now going to get medication got high blood pressure you know so you don't want to mess around and skip on those I usually go before I run out but I didn't at this time kept meaning to and something kept coming up so. but the point I'm getting to through all of that long nonsense is there's nothing I can say to change it. I'm just venting because I just hate going to the doctor all the time. You know, your prescription's only good for so long. Of course, the doctor always wants you in there in a couple months or six months, and prescriptions only last a year anyway. So they pretty much got you over a barrel. And uh, they always want to do, and I understand why it's done. I'm just saying I don't like it. You should be able to sign a form, you know, saying you just want your pills and 
you won't hold anybody responsible, but I guess it don't work like that, so that's alright. Just got put on the big boy pants. Just seems like over your body you should have some control over what you want to go through and do. They'll keep you on the hamster wheel, you know, just run and run and run. They always love to do tests, come back, do always something. So. I remember with Gramps, it sort of becomes their life, and I vowed, I'm hoping, that won't be me as far as that becomes your life. Like, you go to this doctor and that doctor and go back and this and that, and it's always one thing after another. I just don't want to go, oh, you don't. I just do not want to go through that if I can at all help it. Not a fan of going to the doctor. I think we should be able to get, like, I understand, you know, they're not going to give you um, addicting drugs. I'm not saying that, but, you know, if you need your sugar pill or blood pressure pill or something, seems to me you could sign a consent form and just say, hey, you don't want to deal with every going all the time or something. But. That doesn't seem to be the case. And as always, guys, thanks for letting me vent. This is definitely cheaper than a therapist. <laughs> I guess. So we're still wearing masks here in Michigan. I don't know where it stands. They're always changing the rules, but most of the buildings still say masks are mandatory, so... But I guess I, uh, it feels like, it feels like the gloom is lifting with the whole COVID nonsense, you know. I'm glad, I'm very happy to see all the bad stuff going down and the good stuff going up. I think we're finally, um, turning the tide in this whole, uh, nightmare so well, anyways enough about me flubbering on <laughs> thanks so much for watching it though i do appreciate it you guys rock till next time we'll see you